They were, this building just behind me, it's a concrete building. It doesn't look anything like a chapel. There were no wedding bells today. It was a very unusual wedding, but it's because of the old marijuana law that went up in smoke at midnight that one couple decided this was the perfect place for them to begin a new life together. They said I do, surrounded by grow lights and marijuana plants. Mark and Aaron got married in what is essentially a greenhouse for one of Las Vegas's largest dispensaries. I, I feel good. Yeah, good. I feel <laughs> um, somewhat lost for words. Mark Bouth Taylor and his wife Anna got hitched here and on this day to celebrate the legalization of recreational pot for sale. Mark says he was inspired in part because his father was jailed once on a cannabis crime. It's about the freedom to have choice on a substance that is harmless if they want. Mark and Anna are the first to say they are far from a traditional couple. Instead of wedding flowers, he sported some bud for a corsage. Mark proposed marriage and this idea a few months back. Mark asked me and I had to think about it and no, I, I support it. I think it's great. The ceremony was brief, about 20 minutes. That's because it's warm inside of a grow room. And how do you celebrate? He insists they will not be getting high. Due to the fact that um, it still um, has been a federal offense as a parent, it's not something that I wanted for uh, my family considering my upbringing. Las Vegas, of course, is known as the marriage capital of the world. 115,000 people get married in Las Vegas each and every year. That's about 310 couples each day. And today here, uh, this was the place for one of those couples. I'm Craig Figner reporting live News 3.